What's up guys, today we're going to be trying a free to play Minecraft inspired MMORPG called Trove, which you can just download off Steam. The next first impression video will be Arcage, which should be released a few days after this one, and then I'll try Star Wars The Old Republic. So last night I logged in just to get everything set up for today, and it made me select a class as soon as I kind of started, and I just went with the Shadow Hunter, not realising that the other classes you kind of have to unlock. So had I have known that, I would have put in a little bit more time into selecting a class. But you can either unlock classes with in-game currency, or you can just pay for it. Okay, so WASD to move. You've got dodging in this game by just pressing shift, and you can double jump. Find and use the green novice adventure portal. Peaceful hills. So what do we do? Find an empty plot and claim a cornerstone by pressing F when looking at the sign. So this is going to be where we build our house, assumably. Cornerstone. Let's claim this one. Owned by Lazy Peon. Nice. Barbershop. Yeah, I need to sort my person's hair. Pink Afro boys. Swag level over 9,000. Tab to change between adventure and build mode. Use M2 and build mode to destroy blocks. Okay. Okay, so it's just like Minecraft, really. So let's get some blocks. Well, the fuck is that? Fuck you, random spider. So let's build a staircase to my roof. There we go. Now we've got stairs. I should probably fix my roof. Your cornerstone can be moved. An empty plot press F whilst looking at the side to move it. Nice. Let's do it. Boom. And my house just appears there and it's all intact. Nice. Use Z to mount. Nice, there's mounts in this game. Mount hype. Minecraft with mounts. I'm already liking this game. Press M to use your map and your cumbers at the top of the screen to find and complete a dungeon. Well, that's quick. Well, that's uh, thrown me into the game quickly. Wow! Get shrekt. There we go. Level two, boys. Slay the golden scarab. Wow! Shit, son. Oh my god. If, if I die, like, in this game, I'm such a filthy casual. We did it. Yeah, level three. Nice. And it gives me treasure. Nice. Epic loot. Give me that sweet upgrades. So I guess I'll just go out and explore now. Explore, build my house, level up my character, unlock new classes. There's lots of monsters out in the world. These monsters, dude. They're relentless. Get wrecked. So it wants me to find shape, stone, ore, I think. Is this it? Miner's trove. Open it to collect your random loot. Open. Common shapestone ore. Cool. This looks like it could be a dungeon entrance. Wow! Dungeon portal. Oh, okay. Whoa! Here's the fungi king. Doesn't seem to be doing much. Just seems to be getting fucking wrecked. Leave. Yeah. This game's harder than I thought. But I have potions. Round two, fungi king. Whoa! Taking some damage. What is this damage? Nice. This game actually has a decent amount of challenge to it. I like it. Love games that have a little bit of challenge. So I'm going to guess this is a crafting bench. The loot collector. Put a piece of equipment in the loot collector in order to turn it into resources and unlock its loot. Okay. Oh, is this basically like transmog in game? Cursed Valley. Too spooky for me, boys. Oh, dude. Is this your house? Can I blow up his house? I can't do it. No! I can't grief him. Ah, oh, I just wanted to grief people really badly. So you can't just go around destroying people's houses. Okay, so I guess I'm going to want physical damage as someone that uses a bow. I guess. That makes sense. Well, I have to complete more dungeons. That moon just looks like a block of cheese right now. Let me just check if there's any camera options for this game. Okay, we somehow managed to get the camera working. Turns out I had to just uh, attack my mouse a little bit for it to actually work. Previously, scrolling and out wasn't working for some reason. Well, that's better. I can actually uh, play the game properly now. I can zoom in and out. I can see what I'm doing. Camera, zoom out. This camera doesn't give a fuck. Sometimes it'll work. Look, look at this shit. And then if I go outside and probably hit my mouse a little bit, it'll probably work. The camera is really buggy. How to fix... Okay, so to refill your health potion, you just go to this thing and 
press F to refill it. Nice, that's handy. So there seems to be a few bugs when it comes to zooming in and out at the moment. Sometimes it'll let you do it, other times it won't. The day and night cycle seems to be really quick. Get off my land! You can tell what items are upgrades easy enough. You just hover over it and it tells you the increase or decrease in stats, which is handy. So it's easy enough to sort through your gear. Once you've done that, you get rid of the gear that you don't need by putting it in this thing. And then you can use that to get resources. Very handy. That's cheeky. Open the store by pressing N and buy something. You can get free resources box under the packs tab for a fast amount. I thought the game was being cheeky then and asking me to spend real money, but there's a free wooden trove here. I was thinking, wow, that's cheeky. To progress any further, you need to go to the in-game store. I think I want another class. We're going to play it safe. I'm pretty sure I'll like the knight. A nice, simple class. Boom. And I'm going in the wrong direction as per usual. A bunch of guys going over to this uh, thing over here. And it looks like it could potentially be a multiplayer dungeon. Dungeon Paul. Shit. Yes, we did it, boys. Epic loot. Can I take this treasure? No. Yeah, leave, leave, leave. Oh, leave. I need to level up a little bit more before I go into there. I think I just went into that dungeon and stole all the loot from people. Lovely. I'm such a nice guy. I just need a dungeon to satisfy my happiness. All I want is a dungeon. I can't fucking find one. I'm leveling up my ring crafting. So this seems to be the profession system. And it's probably got similar things for other crafting skills. Oh, taking damage. Still standing in fire. MMO rule 101. Do not stand in the fire. Why you do this, peon? No, Trove, don't do this to me. I need you to fill me with your pixelated goodness. I was having fun. Okay, try rip. Okay, the servers are back up. Let's carry on. Some of these monsters are harder. Sweet. Ugh, jump up here. Jump up here. Oh! I'm not very good at jumping puzzles. There we go. Jump up here. Here he is. Oh my god, I'm taking so much damage. Oh, what no. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. We did it. Oh, we did it, boys. That was hard. I'm not sure if you meant to do them solo. The actual digging seems to be faster than Minecraft. I need to see the light. There it is. The beautiful, beautiful moonlight. Freedom! So I think it's important to level up the ring crafting, apparently. That's a nice little area. It's like a little coral reef type thing. Right, let's do it. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. First death, boys. First death. I'm such a filthy casual. Right, slay the pirate lord round two. Oh, fuck. Heal. The fuck is that damage? Just random damage. I think we killed him. Fuck it, let's just escape. Right, we, we completed that dungeon. What the fuck am I doing? What? What just happened? I just swam through some yellow piss-like substance and died. Get out of the chocolate sauce. Slay the cupcake catapult. That sounds like a really intimidating boss, doesn't it? The cupcake catapult. Never did I think I'd be playing a game like this on my channel. I love how there's a decent amount of jumping puzzles in this. Wow. Here it is, home sweet home. Burn it to the ground and start again. That's the only way. Building in this game is so easy. What the fuck is that? Is that some random world boss that just wants to fight me? I'm sorry for just peacefully building a house. You don't have to come and fight me. What is this horse? So this horse can just fly, basically. Horse, please. Horse, this is unnatural. Yeah, we've made friends, boys. Just joined a club. Fishing's easy enough. You literally just chill, listen to the sound, and you can tell when something's been caught because it makes a little noise. Ah, oh, look at this person in chat. 
Can somebody be my friend? The tutorial for the game's been pretty good so far. This little thing in the top right hand corner has given me something to do for quite some time and it's slowly teaching me how to play the game which is pretty good. Each of these worlds are vastly different. It makes me wonder if these are all user created. This looks like a museum area. Wow, this tower is huge. This is a fun little dungeon crawl. See, this is what I always wanted from dungeons in Minecraft, something like this. Mixture of platforming, combat. But when, at least when I played Minecraft a few years back, it didn't have anything, anything similar to this. I've always wanted an MMO version of Minecraft. And this is exactly what this game is, basically, in a nutshell. I think a lot of kids actually do play this game, judging by the chat. This is all slippery. Well, this is going to take some coordination. Wow! Slice the spider, crush the spider, wreck the spider, charge across, get hit in the face, jump down, king spider, I hate spiders, crush, fuck, crush. Get wrecked. And we did it. Level 8, the dream. Oh, wow. These people have some nice houses. This is such a simple but fun game. It's quite addicting once you go into these really long dungeons and you just start exploring. Quite enjoyable, actually. I'm having fun. It's a really simple, light hearted MMO. My horse on Elder Scrolls Online has nothing on this guy. Nothing at all. Can't even compete. Kill the Mushroom King! Strew you and your mushroom forest! This does seem to be an MMO aimed at younger people. What is it with this random robot just coming after me all the time? I'll tell you what, this game's worth playing just to look at the type of crap people say in chat. It's literally one of the most toxic chats I've ever read. Let's see how many of these things we just run past. Come on, platforming! Oh, jump, jump! Jump. Fall. Gotta beat my teammates to the Cursed Pirate Lord. Gotta have that sweet, juicy loot. Some of these dungeons are so cool. Heal. Heal, heal, heal. What fucking hell, dude. Well, that looks like an intriguing place to go. Let's do it, horse. Geronimo! Oh, the physics in this game are so good. And we got to level 9. Is that a creeper? Blow me up. No, it's not a creeper. That would be plagiarism. Horse, you're letting me down, bro. Come on, horse. Don't give me up. Don't let me down. Don't turn around and hurt me. Ugh. I feel like I'm too powerful for this world now. Slay like Grand Cupcake Caliph. Grand Cupcake, wow. I like that you can mount indoors. Not many MMOs actually allow you to mount indoors, so that's nice that they've done that. It makes speedrunning these dungeons a lot quicker. Oh, bad horse. Down here, around here, up here. Just going through these dungeons really quickly is actually really fun. I love it. Here we go, is the entrance. Speedrun time, let's go. Dodge all the spikes, dodge all the mobs, I don't want to fight you guys. Where to from here? Oh my god, obviously over here. No! There we go. This reminds me of Hellfire Citadel right now. Very trippy dungeon. Once you get the hang of this game, you can level up so quickly. Here, go away phone. I'm locked into an intense battle right now, phone. Oh, heal. Three potions left, can he do it? Oh, no, I can't. Holy fuck balls, dude. Mount up, mount up. Full health. You just need to kill this guy. We did it. Now I need to smash this open and get the hell out of dodge. Smash it open. Loot, 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 loot. Right guys, I feel like I've played enough of this game now to have a first impressions of it. And from what I've seen so far, it's actually pretty good. The only kind of problem I had earlier, which I still have now, is the camera's not zooming in or out. But uh, I kind of just got past that. I'm sure the devs will fix it soon. There's a few little technical issues, but it's nothing game breaking. I actually had a lot of fun in this game. For a free to play game, I'm actually impressed. It's just basically a Minecraft MMO and it's a lot of fun. 
The uh, combat's really smooth flowing, the music's nice. It seems like a really good child-friendly MMO. Like, if I had kids and they wanted to play an MMO, I'd probably let them play this first. I got most of my fun from just doing platforming and trying to solo the dungeons really quickly, doing speedruns and jumping puzzles. I feel weird for liking this game because it's quite a children's kind of game, but it's actually really nice. The combat feels great. The game's only a one gigabyte file, which is really small. It downloads really quickly. The game runs really well, obviously, because everything's really blocky. The game would run a lot better on my PC, but obviously I'm recording, got a bunch of software up on my other monitor, and I haven't got the best PC. So, is Trove worth playing? I think it's worth playing. Free to play game, it'll at least keep you entertained for a few hours. I've had fun with it. Honestly, I'm impressed. So thanks to those of you that suggested that I try this game, because I hadn't heard of it prior to the comments on my YouTube videos. So... You've opened me up to a, a fun little game. It's a light-hearted MMO you can just jump on whenever you don't really want to have a serious gaming session. But you can still kind of make progress, run a few dungeons, solo things. I'm sure the game gets a lot harder at max level, but there does seem to be some form of difficulty in this game if you want to try and do things like I did, just YOLO through dungeons. I'm impressed, and if you do screw up on picking your first class like I did, it takes absolutely no time to unlock other classes. I unlocked the I unlocked the knight, the one that I'm playing now, pretty quickly, and I've got 5,300 of these currencies, so I can unlock another class for one as well. So yeah, Trove, good game. Download it, give it a try. If you're a fan of Minecraft, there's a good chance you'll love this game. Okay, guys. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and the next one will be Arcage, and after Arcage, Star Wars: The Old Republic, because so many people are requesting that game right now. Alright guys, let me know what you think of Trove if you've tried it in the comments below, and I'll see you again really soon. Come on, die, die, die! Oh!